This is what's called a firefighter's proximity or bunker suit. It's a U.S. government military surplus. It's available on eBay or other sources. It's uh, amazingly inexpensive. Uh, I do a lot of metal casting, and I was looking for a way to totally protect myself in case an accident occurred, like a crucible broke or dropped. Uh, anyone that's ever dropped a bucket of water knows what happens if it hits about three or four feet off the ground. It splatters everywhere. This uh, is made out of uh, luminous Kevlar with extra fireproof padding in it and would protect you from such uh, splatter. It also comes with a really nice face shield just to be open and closed really convenient. And as you see, eye protection of course is the most important. But what has concerned me involves the lower legs and feet because it is not firefighting. It is molten metal. And I originally came up with this idea for wearing leather shoes that had open laces. It's very uh, difficult, kind of awkward, I guess you would say. And I have been concerned that my safety equipment might even cause an accident because it's hard to get around here. I needed something I could move freely in, felt comfortable, and just slip over my shoes. So what I decided to do was make this. Uh, this is Kevlar, uh, same as the suit, but it has a lining in it that is made from ceramic Five. Uh, the situation involving your feet is you could actually have molten metal sitting on top of, say, a leather boot, uh, in which case you would need to get that off of you as quickly as possible. It's actually amazing how molten metal can go through leather almost like it doesn't exist. Uh, so that's the reason of something that does not require action on my part. Uh, I can be safe you know, and enjoy my hobby. Uh, the Kevlar is also available on eBay. It's uh, commonly used by people that ride motorcycles because it has an incredible puncture and abrasion resistance. Just a layer of this is actually superior to a layer of leather. Uh, now, because we will be using this uh, ceramic blanket, which is similar to fiberglass, thermal qualities are nowhere close but it does have what they call friability. Uh, it can be an irritant. You wouldn't want this in direct contact with your skin. So this will have to be encapsulated, uh, which I will show you how to do. And also I'll show you some of the thermal qualities, which is really quite amazing. And how to sew and make this sip of, of, of fireproof overshoes.
Well, I'll just let it go. I have to sew it. I can't have all this stuff in it. Oh, here's the shoe. Suit, color, boots, gloves, everything. And you see, pretty easy enough. Little girl, pretty comfortable, pretty cool, 